What you are about to watch is the collaboration process that we go through here at Lions Wealth. Now this process you can take and utilize in your own personal wealth plan and financial planning. So with that, learn the process, understand the process, and use it to your benefit. Enjoy. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for watching this, it's nice having you. Now, today we want to really be talking about everything related to collaborating. You see, this is a piece of the puzzle that is a lot of times overlooked, but it's a very, very vital and big piece of the puzzle to make sure that you are taken care of well with your financial plan, your wealth plan, and making sure that you have all the needs taken care of. Now, what do I mean by this? Because this is really at the crux of where you're at today and where you want to go in the future. This is saying that uh, maybe you have some blind spots of, to how, of how to get to where you want to go. Now, that's actually something that happens a lot, that we all have those blind spots. We may be having a specific type of a process that we bring ourselves down. We may have a plan in place that we bring ourselves down, but that plan may be an 80% answer. That may not entail some of the newest tax laws, maybe some of the newest ways that we can be working with the wealth to protect it, to grow it, to make sure that it's actually going to be available for the next generation with the, paying the least amount of tax possible. See, all of that comes back down to the collaborating, using other professionals as part of your overall plan to make sure that it actually is better than what it just was prior to going through the process, and that alone is worth its weight in gold. So I want to walk you through the Lion's Wealth process and how you can utilize that with your own plan. So let's start out with understanding your needs. So, okay, so this is actually the basically the most vital piece of your wealth plan and your financial plan understanding where you want to be going in the future. So we know where you're at today. That's pretty easy to understand based upon the fact that we know where your estate plan stands. We know where your investment plan stands, your wealth plan. We know where your insurances are today. We actually have all of that information. But how do we turn this information that we have today into where do we want to go in the future. That is just a part of understanding your own personal needs. So when I take a look at this and my own personal needs, I actually just sit down and start looking at what do I want for myself in the future? So I start asking that question over and over. So with my family, what what is it that I want for my children? What is it that I want for their schooling, for just needs that they may have growing up? Well, then I can start putting money aside in those specific areas. What is it that I want for my wife? What is it that I want for my, in this case, my church or my ch uh, charities that I support? What is it that I want for my community? So I start asking those questions over and over. And for me as a business owner, it's starting to ask the question as of my business as well. What do I want for my business? So I'm really trying to look at that piece of the puzzle of where do I want to go in the future? So I know where I'm at today and I want to have that dream about the future of where do I want to go? Money I want to set aside. And these are the same type of questions that you can be asking yourself. So whether it pertains to your family, uh, whether it pertains to the income that you want in retirement, whether it pertains to the fact that maybe you don't want to actually retire, but you just want to have the ability to do more travel or the ability to work on your own terms. Well, all of these things come back down to your wealth plan and how much money do you need to have set aside? Uh, where does that money need to be set? How can we minimize taxes today, tomorrow, in the future? All of these things are the kind of game plan that you can be putting into place. But it all comes back down to, like I said, your needs. So take some time at this understand your own personal needs and this can be something that goes quickly or this actually may be something that is going to take a while for you to think through you see many people 
don't take a lot of time in this step of the process to think through what they actually want and they put their life on autopilot and start to say I'm just gonna put a little money here a little money there and hopefully it works out for the best but you have the ability to plan you have the ability to start thinking about what it is that you actually want and that is going to be one of the most vital pieces that you can have in your life. Not even just for your wealth plan overall, but for just your life plan, is to know where you want to go. And that is where we can start to put a plan in place. So understanding your needs is one big part of it. Then we can start looking into how to get to that piece of the puzzle and how to make sure that we can make that come true. So that leads us into our next step, step number two, which is building out the initial financial plan. You see, basically what we want to do is put a framework in place again of where we're at today. So this, think of it this way, uh, when you build a house, and I'm sure many of you have built a house, um, you take a look at blueprints, you take a look at a lot of different things in order to build that house. Well, the house itself is something that is a dream. So we've been dreaming up where we want to go, but we start with where we're at today. So the blueprint is saying, this is our dream that we're getting to. This is the things that we are looking at, but now we need to be plugging in all the different details of that blueprint. So where will the, in this case, electricity go? Where are all of the plumbing aspects going to be? So for all the piping, uh, maybe we need different rooms. Maybe we need all this stuff. Well, that's going to say, where do we want to go in the future? Well, we need to start putting that framework together. We need to start putting that blueprint together. And that's what the initial financial plan does. It starts out in laying out the foundations, the groundwork of that blueprint. So now that we get the blueprint in place, now we can start to envision who do we need to actually bring into the mold as part of this collaborating process that we're going through. And that is going to be one of the biggest pieces here. Again, uh, outside of just understanding your needs and what you want. Now we have that blueprint in place by just understanding the initial foundational wealth plan and financial plan that you're putting into place. So go ahead and do that as your next step. Put the financial plan in place for yourself. And then that's going to lead into our next step in the process which is to build out the wealth team. You see, now that we have uh, a knowledge of where we want to go, now we can start to put the people in place that we need. So with those blueprints, we're going to go and we're going to bring in all the different types of individuals that are going to make this happen. So whether we need the, an investment manager, well, that piece of the puzzle is going to be saying, how do we need to be utilizing your investments correctly to grow or to protect? Do the things that they need to do. Well, then maybe we need to actually be bringing in an estate attorney so that we can be looking at all the different aspects of trust that are going to be available for you. You see, when we are giving money and leaving money as a legacy, or if we're using those trusts to maybe uh, actually protect against taxes in the future. All of those things are possible, but you may not know all the different details of them. So that's part of the collaboration aspect here. So we can have, uh, well, CPAs involved. We can have state attorneys. We can have just life insurance agents. We can have health insurance agents. We can have all of these people involved that can speak into your personal financial life. So this piece is to just start to work and putting the pieces together. Now you may actually have some really, really good professionals in each one of these different areas that you want to work with. Or you may need to actually start to, uh, well, go out and start looking into and interviewing other professionals that are going to be part of your wealth team in the future. Now. We here Alliance will do the exact same thing on your behalf. So when we have new clients that actually come into Lions Wealth, we start mapping out all the different people that speak into their financial life and start to fill in the holes that we're going to need as part of the overall team 
that we put in place. So that team then becomes the cornerstone of the, the wealth management team for our clients. Now, each one could be different. Each one of our clients has different unique needs. So we don't plug in people just on a whim here. We actually take a look at what those needs are going to be and we start picking and utilizing the best possible professionals to meet those needs. That's really one of the biggest pieces there is saying that not every professional is going to be right, but we want the right ones for you. And this is also something that you can be picking the right ones as part of what your needs are going to be. So if we need to be looking at, say, a charitable trust, maybe it's a remainder trust, a charitable remainder trust, well, we're not going to be picking someone that just specializes in drafting wills. Those are two different individuals and the process that they're going to take you through is going to be completely different. So we want to pick the correct individuals that are going to be breathing into your financial life and helping you to take a look at what we have as those blueprints, the financial plan, and to turn that into the actual house. That is the process that we want to have there. And that's what the correct wealth team is going to bring us through. And that leads us into our next step, looking at the gaps. So now that we have the blueprint in place, now that we have some of the professionals that are selected to look at your financial plan, the blueprint of your financial life, now we can actually start to utilize their knowledge and start to say, all right, what do we see here that are issues? So let's give an example here. Um, many times uh, we can really be having a lot of issues surrounding the estate plan because what I have seen happen more and more, and maybe this is even you as well, that we draft the original language of the wills or the trusts or the documents that we need, but life happens, life changes. And so we need to make some changes with those documents to keep up with where you want to go in the future. So that blueprint now is saying, well, we need to make some changes with those trust documents. No longer are we going to be giving some of the money to not only our children, but our spouse. Maybe we actually want to start carving out some of that money for charity as well. You see, that's also a big piece of it, your legacy. Your legacy can be whatever you want it to be, whoever you want to be leaving the assets to, uh, different types of organizations as well. Maybe it's even your business that you want to be transitioning to others in your family or selling it outright. But if today you decide you want to give it to your family, let's say your business, but tomorrow you actually got a really, really good offer that you wanted to take by selling it outright to your competitor, maybe that's actually a really good way for you to make sure that you have the money in place for your own next endeavors. But updating your estate plan is going to make sure that, that you have the ability to go through that. So those are just some examples. But when you take a look at your own financial plan and utilize the others that are there and preferably preferably here, uh, what you would like to do is get them all into the same room. So have a meeting with all of them together and you can start picking their minds apart. Because when we take a look at the estate plan, we can start to say, well, this is what we want to do to protect the money and transition it to others. But then the CPA may come out and say, well, if we do it that way, you're going to have an additional $200,000 of tax this year. And then we're going to have an additional fifty, sixty thousand dollars of tax every year for the next 10 years. So then you can start saying, well, do I want that? Maybe I actually want to change how I give th that money. So then the estate attorney can actually throw out some other ideas. And then we're going to have the CPA say, you know what, if we do it that way, actually things are going to be a lot better for you financially. So if we can get them into the same room and start to pick apart their minds together, that's really what the element of collaboration is all about. So we can start taking a look at that blueprint and saying, well, if we put everything in these areas, we can actually come out better than if we started to piecemeal it all together. So that's really what we want to do. That's part of the wealth team. And that's part of making sure that we have the correct people in the correct places 
that's going to be matching your agenda. So go ahead and start picking the people that are going to be there for you that can look at your blueprints of your financial plan, what you started, and to help you to bring them forth to the next step. So what is that next step then? Well, it's to take the initial blueprints, take all of the thoughts that we've collected along the way from those professionals, and now we can go back and finalize the blueprints. Now we can start making the changes and start to really go forth and start to model out those changes. So we can start to say, well, if we add in a life insurance policy here, if we start to go more into a Roth 401k versus a traditional 401k, that's going to have a bigger out, basically a bigger plan in place for uh, outcome, I should, was going to say, with respect to having tax-free money in the future. So all of that comes back down to how we can be modeling and improving upon the original blueprint. Now that is where we actually start the process before we implement. You see, it's not enough to just go from where we were to where we want to go without looking at and finalizing those blueprints. So that's where we need to come back to the financial plan and have the model in place. And we can actually do side-by-side -side comparisons and saying this is where we were prior to going through the process of collaboration and this is where we are today afterwards. And with all the correct modeling, we can start saying, hopefully, that you're going to be in a better financial front by going down and through the road and this process that we have been working on with all of the other professionals. Now you're on the home stretch here. The next thing that you should do is take those new plans and just do a quick rehash with your wealth team. You see, once you have everything modeled correctly and it's going to be placing you in a better spot, you might as well go back and confirm it. And this takes literally no time at all just to confirm with those professionals that this is the next step in place. But once we do that, we have two last steps. The second to the last step that you want to be working on is just to go back to yourself as well and to say, is this actually something that I want? So going back to your needs, your goals, your wishes. Don't let someone else tell you what you should want or what you should wish. Go back and make sure that's something that you want. What's best financially may not actually be the best place for you and what you would like. So that's where you just check your heart again, check what you're doing, and then once you figure out that this is going to be the place for you, the strategy for you, then we can go to that last element and you can start to implement. Putting those plans in place, signing the documents that we need, doing the transitioning or the, the different types of aspects with respect to the new accounts that we need to establish. Uh, may, maybe it's really coming back down to saying we need to change our healthcare around. Maybe we need to add in more life insurance. But that all happens now because you've checked the blueprints, your financial plan, we've updated them, we've provided all the collaboration that we've gone through, and now we can start saying this is going to be the best place for you going forward. And so that is a big piece of the puzzle now, part of that implementation. And the implementation in and of itself is really saying not only do we start opening the accounts, we sign the correct documents, and we make sure after everything's all said and done, that's what you want. It's nice having you learning about collaboration, and I hope this was insightful into how you can be better in your wealth plan through the collaboration of other professionals that can speak into your financial life. Now, we have a lot more processes that we bring our clients through that you can be learning as well. So click here to learn more about and to continue on uh, with watching these videos about the process and also there's going to be a link right here that's going to actually be talking about how you can set up a time to work with us here at Lions Wealth and what we're going to be going through then would be a just a 15 minute phone call just to understand your needs a little bit more and what it is that you want 
and maybe it's going to be that there's going to be some great avenues that you can be going down and utilizing that we don't even need to be involved in. But maybe there are going to be some other aspects that we can help be one of those pieces in your collaborative wealth team. Now, I hope to see you in future videos and I hope that you have enjoyed this and please like this video, give it a thumbs up rating so that others can help find this and learn the process of collaborating. I look forward to seeing you in future videos.